elevating, expanding. I'm using different words, okay? I'm going to use different words to see which one you resonate with. Because I may be saying that your vibrations are rising to a higher frequency and it may confuse you. Well, some of you may connect with it. Some of you may not connect. Or I may just use the words like your awareness is expanding. It's an expansion in your awareness. And so you may be resonating with that instead of uh, raising your vibrations. So I'm just going to use different kind of words and see which one you resonate with and which one you're, you're, it clicks for you, which one makes sense for you. But don't really get caught into the words because the words are pointers. And I'm trying to point things out, uh, point, point things out to you. So the idea is every spiritual seeker all of us that come on this path and we get pulled on this path and we're going towards the light or we're going towards liberation. We're going towards freedom. The idea, the ultimate idea is not God realization, not becoming one with God, not enlightenment uh, or any of these words. These are just words and they're meaningless. They don't mean anything. They're just big fancy words. They mean nothing. Okay? Ultimately, at the end of the day, we all want one thing. Everybody on this planet wants one thing. Anybody? Any volunteers? Anyone have an idea what that thing is? Yes. Yeah, Hilda, what is it? What what do we all want? Peace of mind. Peace of mind, exactly. But what does peace of mind do for you? Freedom. Yeah, and then freedom translates to what? Silence. Well, again, these are words. They mm -hmm. sound really, they sound good. But what is it at the end of the day I want? I want to be happy. Happiness, satisfaction. We can call it freedom. You can call it self-realization, God-realization. Whatever word you want to add to this. So they're meaningless, really. At the end of the day, I want to be happy. The rest, I don't give a damn. I don't care. I want to be happy. I want to be satisfied. I want to be... Hi, Karen. Are you trying to get my attention? Karen? Are you on? I can't disconnect you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm sorry. It's my sister's daughter outside, so I'm just wa waving. Oh, I thought you were waving mm. at me. Okay. Mm. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right, hon. No problem. So, ultimately, this is what you want. So, keep your attention. Just keep it very simple on your spiritual work so you don't get confused and you don't get caught into a lot of fancy words and then forget about your main goal and not you're deviating and going in a different direction. Ultimately, you want to be happy. So, and then to be happy means what? What does happiness mean? I want to be happy, okay? Well, how do I define happiness? What is happiness? Basically, happiness is when I get what I want. As long as 
I get what I want. As long as everything goes my way, as long as other people do what I want them to do, I'm happy. As long as existence bends and things go in my direction, I'm happy. So I, I come to my studio this morning to set things up. The lighting's not really working. So the, uh, because it's a sophisticated lighting system and you can increase and decrease the percentage of the lights and something has messed it up. So Amir and I were uh, trying to fix things and and uh, uh, we did our best to put things together. Then I'm also broadcasting with my cell phones. I have two extra cell phones. One is broadcasting YouTube, the other one, I mean Facebook, the other one is doing Instagram. And my cell phone that I use for Facebook would not give me a channel to do a live broadcast on Facebook. I don't know why. The phone decided it didn't want to do it. So I'm trying to fix that. And of course, we're running out of time because I want to start at 10 in the morning. And I'm getting frustrated trying to get these devices working. Uh, then our internet wasn't working very well. So I couldn't, I had to reboot everything. So I wasn't very happy. I was starting to stressing and not being too happy about things are not going my way. That's a very basic, simple human way of being. I'm happy when things go my way. I'm happy when people say yes to me. I'm happy when I get what I want. But the rest of the time when I'm not getting what I want and things don't go my way, whatever it is, maybe in the world scale or whatever, then I'm not happy. So happiness is basically what we're looking for. Now what happens on the spiritual path is somehow existence starts to pull the plug on you and things don't really go your way. And as things don't go your way, most of the time, most of us on this spiritual path had to go through a period of shock treatment. It means things start to fall apart in your life. So you get shocked. Maybe you lose your job. You lose your home. Maybe your partner leaves you. Maybe somebody dies in your family. Maybe you had a bad accident and you had to go through big recovery. You know, some sort of shock takes place and it forces you to wake up into the nature of the reality because things aren't going your way. And as you get shocked, you go through a period of shock treatment and it, or your body may be malfunctioning and is not doing what it used to do. And uh, so you come to this point of questioning things because you're not happy anymore. And that dissatisfaction, lack of happiness, forces you to question the nature of reality and you get pulled into this path and you start to just look for things, look for a deeper meaning of life, somehow finding out some answers that make sense because things aren't going your way. 